Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 19th, 2022. Well, boy, oh boy, yesterday was a frustrating day of just multiple whipsaws as we bounced around here in the market. Big swings in price action that probably made it pretty challenging for a lot of traders out there. Um, it was one of those days that can just chop up a trader's account. Let's take a look at how that price action sets us up for today in the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Pro video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts after that wild day of just whipsaw after whipsaw in the market and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, we saw just a, uh, quite a little bit of back and forth here in the market. And as I kept uh, I continue to talk about, we have this support level through here and we held on to it just just held on to it yesterday. Um, as a matter of fact, at one point in time, the Dow was back below its 50 day moving average. But at the end of the day, we had that surge coming back in to push us back up. Initially, futures overnight were pointing to a positive open, but unfortunately, Russian aggression and um, James Bullard coming out suggesting a 75 basis point increase um in the next fed meeting um kind of dampened spirits here just a little bit and so we um are pushing just ever so slightly lower in the futures but they have been creeping up all morning trying to push us into the green even though european markets are, are red across the board and uh, asian markets had a little trouble last night as well but lots of hope based on the earnings reports here coming in that the consumers um the hope is the consumers just ignored inflation just continued to spend we'll have to see if that actually plays out that way or not as these earnings start to roll out so let's take a look here as you can see we have this downtrend resistance in the chart we haven't been able to change that we did hold price support in here we still have significant price resistance above here that we need to deal with so if those bears find reason to uh, push well we could see a breakdown into here where we might test some lower levels of price support in the chart if the bulls get um get a grip on um, something bullish in the market then we might have that opportunity to try and push through this downtrend and remember we really can't have an upside trend until we break that downtrend and hold the higher low we can pop through and then still reverse just like we did right here pop through and reverse so we'll want to watch that closely and be kind of careful because the way the market is moving in these big point moves it can damage your account pretty substantially with just the next whipsaw coming in the market you know russian aggression and um the the fed could end up being the you know the poison pill that that kind of poisons the well even if earnings are strong so we'll want to just be really careful about how we approach the market try to avoid high speculation because until we start seeing some better price patterns and better volume in this market let's take a look at the spy spy very much the same um, unfortunately spy um, did struggle with this price support in here. We did hold on to it at the close of the day with that end of day surge, really in the last few minutes of the day, had a surge there to kind of support and hold in that area. Still maintaining that downtrend here overall in the chart. Still have a resistance levels above that we're going to have to deal with if those bulls find a reason to push. And if those bears come on strong, we have some support levels down here that could easily be tested. So watch that closely. We've got a lot of work here to do and a lot of uncertainty out there in the market. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ continues to have trouble here struggling. Um, um, I had someone, this is a layout for a possible bear call credit spread that someone had a suggestion for yesterday. But as you can see, we continue to um, run to the downside here um, in that downtrend. We have 
um, pretty substantial resistance levels above here in this NASDAQ chart. And we're continuing to see our bonds, bond prices rising and going up, creating more and more pressure here on tech. So can can Netflix um, produce a really good earnings report this afternoon that could change this? Maybe we'll want to watch that closely. However, if those bears have a reason to um, gain some ground, then dropping down through here, um, uh, breaking some support would be a problem for us and we could push on down and test the lows. If those bulls can re-engage and push up through here, remember we're gonna have to challenge those resistance levels put in a higher low before we can really see some confidence maybe coming into the market. Let's take a look at our Russell. IWM continues to be problematic for us. We have just massive levels of price resistance in this chart. And if you remember, if we look back here, if we can actually break through this big level, then we have a year's worth of price resistance above that yet to deal with in the chart. So taking a look here, we're still running in this downtrend trying to hold on to some price support here but notice there just really isn't a whole lot of price levels in here to hold us in that area if those bears were to engage i think we could really quickly see us push down here into these lows if the bulls can push through watch these price levels up in here uh, for that resistance to come into play if they can start pushing through and test those levels above let's take a look at our vix Interestingly enough, our VIX had shot up yesterday, but that last few minutes of surge into the market ended up putting in a black candle on the day. But does that really change anything? Uh, not yet, unless we get a follow through to that candle because we still are running in this little tiny uptrend. We're still holding on to support in this area, um, holding in between these levels of around 20 handles right through here and 25 handles up in here that is serving as resistance. So we're kind of stuck in this range um, in that chart. We're not really resolving anything just yet. Notice we have that bit of a channel in here where we're kind of stuck between these two levels trying to decide which way to go. As volume continues to be very, very anemic in the market. So just watch that carefully and closely. I can't tell you which way we're going to go here. Um, it would be nice, I guess, if you're a bull, we need to see that uh, fear continue to diminish and break us back down in here. But if you're that um, considering to be the bear, then um, you uh, want to see that little resistance there start to break and us popping through that 25 handle in the charts. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. And this is where we still have quite a bit of confusion going on here in this chart. Notice that we tried to push back up here and we're kind of maintaining a little bit of a downtrend here. And we're back down below that mid-level here in T2122. So it doesn't really give us a direction here on T2122. It just tells us that if those bears find some reason to um, gain some control here, we still have significant downside that could be made in that chart. And if those bulls can use those earnings to find some reason to be bullish, we have opened up a pretty good upside opportunity as well. So we're just gonna have to watch this price action pretty closely. And I think everyone should probably plan for that possibility. It could be a bumpy ride over the next few weeks as we roll out these earnings. Um, there's a lot of emotion built into uh, the market right now with huge hope that the consumers just followed through and ignored inflation. I got to tell you, if if that is true, there could be quite a little bit of upside enthusiasm in the market that comes in. On the other hand, if um, the consumers did curtail their spending as a result of inflation, then we could see some real punishing moves to the downside if earnings um, happen to miss. So, uh, be kind of careful here. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, T2108, the number of stocks holding above their 40-day, got to give this one to the bulls um, yesterday. They managed to hold this low, that low of last Thursday. They managed to hold that 
didn't push down through there. If the if the bears continue to push and break that level, we still have other levels of price support in here. So the bulls are trying to stiffen up here quite a bit. There again, it's a lot of hope about earnings being really strong. And then if we take a look at our T2107, kind of the same thing here. We didn't break that down. T2107 didn't break down that Thursday low. Only about 35% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Notice that this is a pretty Pretty interesting support level but we still have this big challenging uptrend to see if we can break out of and we'll we'll need some pretty good earnings to make that occur um, as we move forward so let's watch that closely and be ready for just about anything then let's take a look at our t2101 which continues to just be uncertain here and that uncertainty certainty continues to exist just simply because our volumes remain so low we're very very anemic in these volumes which really puts us in that situation that if if the bulls gain some energy we could really surge if the bears gain energy we could sink really fast so we're going to have to be really watchful and very very careful as we roll out these earnings now with that said let's take a look at that economic calendar here for today our economic calendar does have um, something on here we want to pay attention to we have housing starts and permits right now consensus is suggesting only a slight decrease in those housing starts and permits um, if that were to happen to miss um, we could see a little bit of bearishness come in the market as a result so watch that closely it's also possible we try to ignore this completely even if it's a bad number ignore it completely in favor of the earnings reports so um, who knows it all depends on how those numbers start to roll out we'll want to watch that remember we had james bullard speaking yesterday and it's probably a good thing he didn't speak while the market was open because he's suggesting a 75 basis point increase uh, coming um, next month in interest rates that will be a shock for the market if that occurs um, watch that closely and today we have Charles Evans and um, Neil here speaking so more Fed talk as we roll along through the week and as you plan ahead keep in mind existing home sales we've got those mortgage applications coming in and a big day a big day of Fed speak and a 20-year bond auction that we'll want to be keeping an eye on because those bonds continue to rise this morning we had at one point in time the 10-year bond um, pushed through 2.91% in early trading. It has backed off slightly now to 2.89% and our 30 years trading at 2.98%. Five year is trading at 2.82%. So all of those bonds continue to rise and that's putting some serious pressure on those tech tech stocks so watch that close. Let's take a look um, at um, our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar yesterday there was some confusion on earnings i think i've got that straight now there was a couple website issues uh, that had some confusion in there but if we take a look we've got about 60 or so companies listed on the calendar um, today um, but a, a number of those are unconfirmed but i do have a confirmation that j and j will be reporting today and it looks like we've had quite a little bit of volatility in the pre-market here on j and j pushing down and now they're trying to reverse back to the upside um, later on this afternoon um, we've got netflix um, this will be an interesting one netflix has been in a serious decline here um, if subscribers continue to pull away from that due to inflation and folks needing to just um, kind of reduce spending, um, that'll be an interesting one. However, if they see some gains, that could be interesting as well. So watch that carefully. Netflix later this afternoon could be a substantial market mover. We're going to hear from a lot of regionals and, and financials this morning, um, like CFG, um, looks like they're moving a little bit higher this morning. Um, Fifth Third Bank, whoops. Fifth Third Bank will be reporting this morning. We're also going to hear from uh, some oil in here, Halliburton. 
will be reporting today. Looks like it's moving a little bit lower here at the moment. We're going to hear from some consumer type stocks with Hasbro reporting today. Looks like it gapped lower and is trying to fight its way back up um, in the pre-market. We're going to hear from Lockheed Martin today, LMT. L um, all of these um, aerospace and defense stocks have been rising substantially with um, the conflict over there in Ukraine. And um, how about IBM? IBM will be on the on the uh, schedule for today. We'll get some insurance. Um, insurance has been holding up really strong in this market. Travelers will be reporting today, amongst others. If you want to catch the full list, guys, make sure you click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to that morning blog where you can get the full list. Let's take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But just before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find the videos to be worthy, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Now I want to apologize yesterday. I got so busy I didn't get a chance to answer um, any of the comments, but I did get them all read and um, hopefully you noted that I did get through all of those. Um, thank you so much for everyone who does uh, comment. It's, it's the action or or, um, it's the engagement with a video that makes the most difference for our growth and thank you so much for everyone who does that and again thank you so much for everyone who continues to support the channel through buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video as well if you want to support the channel that way thank you so much guys I you humble me every day and I'll be back on the case of answering those um, 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 comments today let's take a look here at um, some stock setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do some um, heavy investigation into these trades there's a lot of risk around earnings events and please everyone make sure you're paying close attention to those earnings reports um, it's often the case where you can get a good entry signal showing up just before an earnings report and then end up being punished uh, by buying that trade. So be really, really careful. Let's take a look at um, a couple. I actually placed a, a price alert yesterday here on CLX and the CLX pull on back a um, little bit yesterday. I'm watching this area in here. What I like about this being a consumer defensive um, a good divvy payer in here when the market gets a little bit nervous these can kind of perk up and show some signs of life and we've been moving up in this little trend now whether we can hold this that's going to be the question we're trying to make that decision right now but notice we have this gap above and that possibility if this does pop through here we could quickly move up and fill that gap so I'm keeping an eye on CLX as a possibility um, not sure it's going to make it, but I'm watching that one closely. I think we should also be keeping a close eye here on some of these stocks in the metals area. Take a look at FCX. FCX yesterday, this looked like it was going to have a problem. We broke support in this chart and we were consolidating underneath that support and it looked like it had a high probability of breaking to the downside. But doggone it those commodity prices anything in commodity prices holding up very very strongly pushing back up through that support area in the chart and now trying to hold so let's keep an eye on this this is one of the patterns that I look for if we've broken support the stock must recover that support hold it as support and then show me those buyers uh, coming in and one of the reasons we might see that as that possibility is we saw metals are around all over the place making moves yesterday so take a look at um, FCX copper um, could be um, ready to get going again to the upside take a look at um, stocks in like steel um, uh, X um, US steel hanging in here in a really nice tight consolidation um, this has that potential that this could finally push on out at any time uh, to continue higher we also saw some good moves and take a look at Alcoa. Um, Alcoa pushing back up after breaking some support here in the chart. We're starting to push back up and maybe recover that support 
for potentially that resu resumption back to the upside. Notice this downtrend in here has been broken. So watch for that next higher low. If it does come along, Alcoa looking pretty good. You've got to also put into that mix, even though we had a pop and drop yesterday, you've got to put silver on your list. A silver moving up here, as you can see. A little bit of rest in here may be due but watch this carefully. We're trying to break through some resistance highs here in the chart and we've held some support. So watch that close. GLD is another where we popped and dropped yesterday, but gold continues to show a lot of strength. And we're seeing a lot of those gold miners out there like uh, Newmont Mining just continuing to move to the upside. Barrett Gold uh, moving strongly. Um, here to the upside and maybe setting up for that next move with this breakthrough hold of that support and following its trend right here. So we're close to that, that potential where that could move on through to the upside. If we take a look at um, AUI, very, very strong chart uh, moving to the upside. So lots of miners um, doing very, very well here um, in the market. So keep a close eye on those. You're going to have to also continue to, to look at those energy stocks. Take a look at XLE. Big surge yesterday to the upside here in a lot of those energy stocks were breaking this resistance. You know, there's been an awful lot of talk that inflation has peaked. And I got to tell you, when I continue to see commodities right going to the upside, moving up strongly, I don't think that means a peaking in inflation, do you? But we'll want to watch that closely. Watch anything in that energy sector. They're holding up quite strong and quite good. So lots of stocks in that area setting up. You might also want to keep an eye on um, some of the stocks in the commodity sector. Take a look at corn. Corn hit a 13-year high yesterday. Now backing away from that this morning, but been running really, really hot to the upside. Anything in that sector, uh, DBC, which is a commodity tracking ETF, hit new highs yesterday. Watch that one. Um, um, DBA, another, whoops, um, is it DBA? Yeah, DBA, um, an agricultural ETF, continuing to push and make new upside um, highs. Um, Moo, another commodity tracking ETF. Looks like a pop and drop on that day. Nice little pattern set up here in Moo, showing lots of strength in those commodity ETFs and agri business ETFs. Very, very strong, continuing to move higher. So plenty of opportunity in those sectors there. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Be really careful here. There's going to be likely some big moves that could occur in the market as these earnings roll out. Make sure you have a, a good plan and make sure you're paying very close attention to those earnings reports when they're going to report. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.